from Rotaract, and this will be done by the district Rotaract leader, Jean-Marie. I now present Jean-Marie to do his report on Rotaract. I'd like to adopt all the protocols previously established. Good, is things still morning? Good morning. Welcome back after a little break. I'm just gonna present to you on what we've done this year so far from Rotaract. No problem. I would prefer that too? Yeah, okay. That's okay. No, 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 it's just not. Can we get um, some help with uh, trying to encourage the folks in the outside to come in, please? I don't want the DRR to start his presentation with all the Rotarians outside. Uh, any Rotarian who wishes to help, they could go outside and try to rally some Rotarians to come back in, please. I'd appreciate that first. Just hold on two minutes. People coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, my year is DRR. Well, prior to my election, I had, since my first district conference in Guadeloupe, not missed a District 7030 event for Rotaract. However, I had only attended District 7030 events for Rotaract. Therefore, all, everything I knew was just District 7030 Rotaract. And for me to improve, which is what I would have liked to do for the district, I'd have to know something else other than what's in District 7030 Rotaract. So leading up to this year, I was fortunate enough to attend my first Rotary District 7030 conference in Barbados. I was able to attend Rotary International Convention in Seoul, South Korea, as well as Rotaract District Conference 7020 in Grand Cayman. And it's after all of these visits, I was really able to develop and visualize what I wanted to do to help District 7030 for Rotaract move forward. The three areas that I wanted to focus on for my year as DRR were visibility, efficiency, and communication. Um, during my travel to Rotary International Convention and seeing the projects that were put on display from all the clubs around the world and the recognition they got, they were amazing projects, but some of the projects were pretty much similar to what we do in 7030. And for me, it was a case of, okay, if we are able to meet these kind of standards, why shouldn't we be as globally recognized? So I wanted to make sure that District 7030 for Rotaract was put on the map as much as we could. But I wanted to create a, almost a clothing line for Rotaract, District 7030, where we have our jerseys that are tied into whatever district event or whatever club we go to that we wear for, dish, for Rotaract events. I wanted to go beyond that. I wanted to have some stylish clothes or items that we use all the time that have that immediate branding. So when we wear it, we're not just around Rotaract because we already know what Rotaract is. We're around everybody who then asks us what is Rotaract. And then we get to share Rotaract as much as possible. I wanted to share Rotaract locally, get clubs making sure that they advertise their club, especially when they do projects. Don't just do the projects and go home. Make sure you have some media coming in. Make sure you have some kind of local recognition. I wanted to make sure when we do our DRR visits that you don't only really know about it when I'm recapping my year. So during the visits, we had, we had a great team of PROs and ADRRs making sure that when I was visiting the clubs, the district, by our Facebook page, 
knew I was coming in. We were doing media houses. We were making sure we do at least one service project during the visit and updating it as we go along. For our efficiency aspect, what I had learned from attending Rotary Conference District 7030 and Rotaract District 7020 was that for, for Rotaract right now, what we did was for our awarding, we'd give first, second, and third prizes for all our different areas. For me, that felt like we were really not acknowledging so much of the other work that Rotaract clubs did in our district. So we moved to a more a tiered structure where, you know, if you achieve a certain standard, it would be a platinum, gold, silver. And therefore, we're able to recognize so many more clubs that make the effort to put into our district projects. We also wanted to make sure that our clubs are ex exem exemplifying best practices. We started with our district training team, webinars. We had those clubs who have successful projects. A lot of projects we do are duplicated throughout the district. But we're all doing it separately when we all have advice we can take from those clubs who are already doing them. So we had webinars to help those clubs doing those projects. And we also did some handbooks, because again, for our presidents, we know what the roles and responsibilities say, but then you have those things that come up that are not gonna be in that handbook. So with the experience of presidents, we put together a booklet and shared that. For communication, the real communication I wanted to focus on was our relationship with Rotary. And again, this has been, as you can see, a joint effort between myself and DG Roger to really improve that relationship between Rotaract and Rotary. And in addition, you know, keep Rotaractors aware of what other clubs are doing in the district and what's going on outside of our district as well. The theme for my year is do better, be better. And it really is a personal mantra of mine. And I think Rotaractors don't realize how serious I'm about it until they see that it's literally tattooed on my arms that do better, be better. But really what it means to me is that every time we do something, we just wanna do it better than the last time we did it. Constantly and consistently improving. We all wanna be the best club in the district, fine. But sometimes it's not gonna be a jump from five out of 10 to 10 out of 10. Let's make your success, okay, this time I got five, next time we're getting six and then that becomes your minimum standard. Once we are able to do that, the improvement is gonna come and we will get to where we're trying to be. And that element of success, every time you improve, however slightly, is gonna motivate you to continue trying to succeed. This was the mandate I brought to all the clubs throughout the district throughout the year. And I think it really had an impact on most of the clubs I was able to share that with. So it was a case of do things better you become better at it, do better things, you become a better rotor actor, a better club, a better district, better individual. For my year, we started off with 43 clubs, and well, we extended to 47 with the inclusion of our clubs from French Guyana and the ABC Islands, and I was able to visit 38 of those clubs. I we almost made it 39, I was supposed to visit Curacao, but unfortunately my flight from Suriname was canceled, so I was not able to take that opportunity. But through those visits, I was really able to be a part of the projects that were taking place, of the media that we were trying to make sure we got done. And when I was doing my specific club visits, I really wanted them to take a look at where they were right now what the issues were coming out of last year and what specifically in their plans and objectives they had to improve on that. I noticed that a lot of clubs have very similar issues. However, the dynamics of those issues are very different. So it was never a case of, you know, we have a membership problem, here's the solution. And I began to realize that the more clubs I began to visit, so what it was, instead of a, almost a checklist of things when I'm sitting with clubs, 
it was a really involved discussion, getting to know the club members, the dynamics, the relationships within that club. And through that, I was able to see really what are the underlying causes of some of the issues that come up, and that really helped in making significant progress in trying to overcome those battles. Another thing I did whilst visiting clubs was to assess their level of satisfaction with their club at the moment. Because for me, if you think your club is doing great, you don't have that much incentive to try and make it do better. So what was interesting to me is that I'd ask a room of rotor actors, how satisfied are you with your club? And I would almost get a split down the middle. The younger, or newer rotor actors, I should say, would be like, yeah, we're doing a great job. I love it. The more seasoned rotor actors <laughs> would say, I don't know what my club doing. It's pure foolishness. So at first, I put it down to a case of, hey, that's just that old nostalgia, thinking that my time when I was really in the club was the best time of the club. And I didn't pay too much mind then. But as the time went along, I realized that maybe our club, and this took place like halfway through the year, I had a revelation that I think we are actually leading towards a case where we're becoming a little too satisfied with average, with just okay. And I really wanted to push for the final half of the year to have all our Rotaract clubs attain at least a minimum standard. So we're always looking to do better and be better. But as Rotaract clubs, as a member of the Rotary International family, there is a certain standard that we should be achieving with every single one of our clubs throughout the district. Now, sorry, my water is cool. No problem. The outcomes from these objectives. Oh, thank you, IPR. For the outcomes of these objectives, we had outlined. Our social media was amazing. Our team was absolutely phenomenal. We were able to increase our likes by over and followers by over 100%. We were able to connect you know, and highlight what all the clubs within the district were doing. Like I said, we kept Rotaract as abreast of all the activities that the district representative was undertaking because a lot of the complaints were that you know, clubs were really focused on their clubs. And if the only time you hear about district events is at a district conference, it really didn't mean much to them. So I wanted to keep them constantly engaged in what was going on throughout the district. And it did help, and as well as what was going on outside of the district. Because the picture you see here is not something that took place in the district, but every, I think, Monday, we would share something that took place outside of District 7030. Because we, again, want to keep you connected to Rotaract worldwide. And I'm finally proud to say that at this conference, we will be able to, after months of hard work, launch our catalog for our district branded items that we will be showcasing a little later on in this conference. So I'm very proud of that. Some of you may have seen. <laughs> Thank you. Some of you may have seen me walking around with my little backpack with my name on it and those kinds of things. So. Those are some of the items we're looking forward to sharing with our Rotaractors to get them to really spread the name of Rotaract. Efficiency-wise, we really got a lot of the work off. Again, the district training team with the webinars, we had one very recently where we highlighted, I think, uh, Georgetown Central, who, has a great, who does great work with their membership, and a lot of clubs struggle with their membership. So while one shoe may not fit all, here's what we do. Here's what you can try. Here's how, you know, let's try to make this work. We are helping each other. So we want to share those best practices and constant toolkits throughout the year to keep club members motivated, as well as myself trying to stay as engaged with presidents as much as possible, because they're going through almost what I'm going through. So the more I talk to them, and they really kept me going, because there were some points during the year it was a struggle to stay on top of everything. But you go and you see club presidents struggling, looking towards me 
to keep them motivated. That is what kept me going for a lot of the years. So I help, think that helped with efficiency, really staying in touch with my club president. And for the communication aspect, we had our normal newsletters. And this our, we also introduced some video messaging that in addition to newsletters for, well, for New Year's, whatever other special occasions, I'd do a nice little video message, send out to the Rotaractor, let them know that, hey, I'm here connected. So you don't just get to see my words, but you get to hear my voice, see my face. And some recognition of International Days as well, as well as celebrating club charter anniversaries throughout the district and featuring dif different district team members as well as presidents on a weekly basis. So again, you know who is in your district. Oh, no, not yet. I think, to close, what I have definitely noticed is that the strongest club, far and wide, the strongest clubs, Rotaract, in our district are those who have the best and healthiest relationships with their Rotary clubs. And that is, that is not by chance, by any means. It's definitely a case of this is where the experience comes from. This is the, what there's so much to learn, so much to be engaged by. And the support you get from your Rotary Club and the, so the, the help you lend to your Rotary Club is what that bond and that knowledge, that experience you get, that symbiotic relationship is really what makes clubs outstanding. So. I would like to say to Rotarians, when you sponsored your Rotary Club, your Rotary Club, it came with duties and responsibilities. Sure. And we would love you to all, you know, keep to all of those responsibilities. But we don't want it to be a case of you're doing it because you have to. When you spend time with your Rotary Clubs, the more time you spend, the more you begin to realize that, you know what, I don't want to do this because I have to. I'm, it's a pleasure to do this. I'm enjoying doing this. So I really want to encourage you, now that we have this platform, to be as involved with your Rotaract clubs as possible. I cannot emphasize that enough. And to my Rotaractors, don't wait for Rotary to come to you. Go to them. We are partners in service. This is what we are. So when you don't see your Rotary Clubs around, go to find out what they are doing. Show that, take that initiative. Yeah, you, it's not their responsibility to make sure a partnership works. A partnership is two, people, two entities or multiple entities coming together. So take, make the effort. Because as I said, be stronger. If you really want your club to improve, having a better relationship with your Rotary Club is probably the easiest way to do it. So that is where I like to close. And again, with this first joint district conference, it is the perfect opportunity to meet Rotaractors, to meet Rotarians, to learn so much both ways. And I really hope that we leave here with a different view and work towards better relationships. Thank you. Thank you very much, DRR Everestus. I could not have said it better. <laughs> um, and I think that actually deserves a hey, lay, lay, don't you think? Yeah? <laughs>